Hello everybody, my name is Jack from Theme Park UK and welcome to today's video. Now in the last video we talked about what the teasers uh, that Thought Park had been putting out recently could mean. Now today, it's the 25th of February 2020, we finally have an answer. So Thought Park tweeted earlier at 10am uh, about their new attraction for 2020. Now this is called Black Mirror Labyrinth, which is a maze which is themed to the Black Mirror TV show on Netflix. And it is supposedly going where the Living Nightmare Maze was located before. There isn't actually that much that we know at the moment about the attraction. However, uh, on the website, Thought Park have written, uh, Get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting-edge visual technology and sensory-defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you lose yourself in the mainframe as this unpredictable digitalized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your very existence? So... I haven't personally watched Black Mirror, I've watched maybe like two episodes, so I'm not really too sure about the show, uh, but from a couple of friends who have asked about it, who have watched it, uh, they've explained to me that it's kind of a technology orientated show, uh, and each episode is separate from each other, they're not related in any way, and they're quite meaningful, and it's about kind of like a futuristic world kind of thing. But yeah, obviously it is another IP attraction coming to the park, however... Uh, this one actually seems to be like it could be pretty good. I'm going to watch probably a couple of seasons of Black Mirror before I go and try out this attraction. Uh, Thought Park has said that it will be opening for spring. So I'm assuming that means opening day. But obviously it might be delayed slightly. Uh, but they have said it will be open for spring. Now the whole theme of this uses the glitching effects on all the marketing. So obviously that is what all the teasers were about. And honestly, I can't say I am surprised that it is uh, a, something like this. I think a few of us might have got our hopes up that it could have been something more, which obviously it's not. And people who are expecting a coaster for this year, uh, I, I, I don't really know what to say. But yes, I think honestly, better than what we got last year. Obviously, last year we got Bouncer. <laughs> but hopefully this will be very good uh, as an attraction. No, I hope it lasts a good couple of years. I'm not sure if it will just be this year because obviously IP things are kind of a bit hit or miss. But hopefully it will be around for another year. It kind of calms the uh, the things everyone was on about, like Jungle Escape's getting replaced. I'm pretty sure Jungle Escape is going to be staying because if rumour is correct, this hasn't been confirmed by the park, uh, this will be located in the old Living Nightmare building, which is just behind the X Pyramid. Uh, be interesting to see if they use the same queue line. I assume they will do, uh, but obviously it's right next to Slammer. So yeah, we will assume that they will use that queue line, but obviously none of that has been confirmed. Uh, something else the park has said on Twitter is that this will not be an upcharge attraction. This will be included in your ticket, which is always nice to see. So Thought Park literally five minutes ago have just announced uh, some more things for 2020. They've announced four events for this year, which I'll put on screen now. So the first one is the season launch party, which we already knew about a few days ago. And this one takes place the night after annual pass day. And... It's in collaboration with Saturday Night Kiss and it is kind of like a music party. It will be, uh, there'll be various kind of DJs and musicians there, I believe. And this will be an upcharge attraction. I think it's £10 for a ticket. Uh, it's completely separate to the park day. So if any of you are going annual pass day, it's completely separate. As far as I'm aware, you cannot get in with your Merlin pass. It's completely different from that. Uh, I think Mer uh, annual pass day is from 10 till 5. And then this will be from 7 until like 3 a.m. or something like that. And it is 18 plus only. So, yeah, just to bear in mind for that one. Looks like it could be a cool event. Obviously, not really anything to do with the theme park season. But it's kind of like a launch party. So, kind of like celebrating the new year. So, yeah, maybe that should be a good event. I can't go. I'm under 18. But, yeah, if you are going, uh, let me know uh, in the comments. And then let me know when you have been, if it was any good or not. Because I think this is the first time that they've done something like this on annual pass day. Um, so, yeah, should be good. The second event that they have announced is called Hyper Spring. Which, you know, guys, obviously means that we're getting a B&M Hyper Coaster for 2021. But no, in all seriousness, Hyper Spring uh, description is discover a thrilling new digital dimension and join us for an otherworldly extravaganza. Now, this is taking place from the 4th to the 1st, uh, 4th of April to the 31st of May. So obviously this is a spring event. Seems to kind of tie in from the Worthing to the Black Mirror stuff. So maybe I was kind of right when I said about kind of like the year of the Walking Dead, but for something else. So it seems to be that they have got this uh, event which is related to it. 
so obviously it will coincide with the opening of the black mirror maze so it does say opening in spring so this could mean that it does open with this event instead of opening day which would only be a few days after opening day but yeah if it's not open on Mar in march um uh, that'll be why probably i'd assume um but yeah uh not really any more information on that as of yet but expect in the coming days there to be more information and i'll put it in the comment down below if there is uh, our next event is from the 18th of July to the 6th of September, so the entire summer season, kind of summer holiday time. Uh, it's called Supercharged Summer. Uh, the thing is, soak your mates, challenge your limits, and get drenched in the UK's wettest water rides. So, obviously, this would just be their summer event. And we didn't have a summer event last year. We did the year before, it was Love Island Nights. This uh, kind of makes me think maybe uh, Late Night Riding might be coming back for the summer, where the park was open until uh, 8, 9, 10. I uh, know in 2018 it was open till 10. So yeah, um, hopefully that does come back and it's open till 10 again because I never got to do that and I'd really like to go for like a late night summer opening. I think that'd be really cool. And yeah, obviously it's the pretty much the entire summer holidays. So plenty of time to experience that. Again, nothing more has really been said. This kind of doesn't really seem to relate to the uh, Black Mirror stuff, but who knows? More information again will probably be out on that soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully it comes back because obviously uh, the times for next year have already been announced uh, on the website. However, they did for that for Towers as well. And they said that um, Oktoberfest, which is a new event that's been announced for Towers, which I haven't covered. Um, it said those dates are only open until five. However, the park has confirmed that there will be late night riding on some rides. So it could be something like that, uh, but yeah, who knows? And now we come on to Fright Nights, which obviously is obvious, happens every single year. From the 3rd of October to the 1st of November this year, um, ride coasters in the dead of night and take on the terrifying scare mazes, like every year. Um, hopefully we get uh, maybe one new maze for this year, don't want anything major like 2018. Uh, I keep the majority of the mazes the same we can assume that Living Nightmare will not return due to the fact that the Black Mirror stuff um, is going there begs the question that will do or die return I'd assume so because if they've got the license to use Walking Dead on the ride I don't see why they won't be able to do it on the maze uh, but yes that is all from me today just bringing the news for Thought Park's 2020 editions uh, any more information that's found out in the next few days if there is any will be in the comments below but yes what do you think about this year's editions do you like them or were you expecting something more? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been Jack from Theme Park UK and I'll see you all soon in a new video.